Now, reactivity with halogens of group 15 element. Uh, it is observed that in that particular case, there is two possibility. Uh, either can uh, group 15 element react with the halogen to form the compound like that EX3 or may can form that EX5, where X actually represents the halogen element like uh, fluoride, chloride, bromide, iodide and E actually represent that group 15 element that means the nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Now, uh, the most important parameter in, uh, if, uh, characteristic in that particular case is the nitrogen that cannot form that EX5 because due to the unavailability of the vacuum D orbital in the electronic configuration of the nitrogen. So, uh, the most important question is like that, that why uh, NCl5 does not exist, whereas PCl5 can be obtained. Uh, if we go through the electronic configuration of the nitrogen and phosphorus, it will be observed that in case of the nitrogen, the electronic configuration is like that, the 2S2 at 2P3. Whereas, if we go through the electronic configuration of the phosphorus and other uh, higher member of that particular group, then it will be observed like that 3S2 and 3P3. Now, in that case, the vacant D orbitals of that particular case, electronic configuration of the phosphorus and higher member of the group, that will be available. But in case of the nitrogen, there is no D orbital. So, nitrogen cannot expand its variance beyond 2P. So, that, why, that is why the nitrogen cannot fall. The NX5, that means the NCL5, cannot be obtained. Whereas, Phosphorus can form the PCL5. Now, another important case is that if the uh, if we go through the higher member of the element, when the more number of the halogen will be there, that will be observed for the, in that particular case the high polarizing power, and as a result, the, that compound will be the covalent in nature. So, if the more number of halogens in group 15 halides due to the higher polarizability coherent nature will be observed. But NF3 that will be very stable because due to the high polarizing polarizability power of the fluoride F minus that is why NF3 is very stable. NF3 that will be stable due to high polarizability of of fluoride ion. Now, another important thing is that particular case, we know that if we go through the, uh, the last remember in that particular case ES5 like that, means BIF5, that is another tendency is that inert pair effect, uh, inert pair effect means that higher member of the particular group will go for the uh, preference to the lower oxidation number. So, if the compound is like that BIF5 that will undergo the dissociation and formation of the BIF3 and F2. That is called inert pair effect. So, in that particular case, BIF5 undergoes the dissociation. So, inert pair effect is that the preference of the lower oxidation number for the heavier member or the 
uh, if you are a member of the particular group that is called inner periphery, in that particular case, the BIFI undergoes the dissociation and formation of the lower excitation compound BIA3 and as well as the fluid. So, that will be observed only for the, in case of the heavier member, that means the, only for Bismarck, but uh, not in case of the arsenic or antimony. Now, another important problem in that particular case is the, in case of the P, a five 